If I were you, Steve, I wouldn't worry. The police aren't going to knock on your door. I mean, historic Steve parties. I mean, nobody went to them. How are we doing, everybody? It's Kev Ashford back in the van. It is match day here on the biggest Man United fan channel in the land. It is the United stand. It's match day. Manchester United against Brentford. Are you ready for it? Are you ready? Yeah, too right. I'm ready. I cannot wait for it. Uh, I must say, international break is over. Let the football commence and that. But... Uh, as a United fan, and I, I, it makes me sad to say it, but these international breaks I used to absolutely despise. But at this moment in time, I do find myself actually enjoying them because I get a break from the misery that is Manchester United. But Ten Hag in his press conference has fought back. He's saying that uh, the, the media stories about replacing him and him getting the sack are basically fairy tales. And uh, if Ten Hag's in a position to be going out and saying this, then he, he's certainly had reassurances. He's had something from, you know, some form of backing from the club for him to come out and say that. If he hasn't, then he's going to make himself look a bit of a tit if he gets sacked by Christmas. But he's come out fighting, I suppose, from a manager's perspective or from a fan's perspective. Maybe this is what you want to see, a bit of a rally cry. But obviously, previously, we did play Aston Villa. The game ended in nil-nil. And the most surprising thing, and I think the thing that really hit hard in that game was the fact that Eric Ten Hag decided to revert back to the old guard. I'm talking Harry Maguire. I'm talking Johnny Evans. I mean, Johnny Evans, he's just... If you could bottle him up, and if, I mean, if he was only... If he was 20 years old, you know, what what a player. But even now, at the grand old age of 76, I mean, he's... I'm, I'm joking. I need to pay Johnny Evans more respect than that. But you get you get what I'm trying to say. You know, he's the, the wrong side of 30. If he was in his 20s, what a player. He's had a great career. But, I mean, you look at that game. The thing that I am banging my head against a wall at, and I cannot believe that when Ten Hag's job was under so much scrutiny... There's so much pressure. He reverts back to Maguire. He reverts back to Johnny Evans to get that result. And that team was set up not, not to win for me. It was just not to lose that game and certainly not to get embarrassed. The likes, the, the same way we got embarrassed by Spurs. And spit on that Scouse thing. Liverpool as well. Two really bad 3-0 results. So he's reverted back to almost being solid at the back. And we talk about the money that Ten Hag has spent. And this is, again, I'm baffled. Absolutely bloody baffled, man. It doesn't take much to baffle me, but get your head around the fact that this guy has spent 660 million, over half a billion pounds worth of transfers. His players, his guys, get me my players in. And yet we found ourselves with Evans and Maguire. And don't for one minute believe that they were rested, you know, Delit and Martinez were rested, because none of them, none of them players deserve a rest. What have they done? We're like eight games into a Premier League season. They were dropped. You know, Ugarte's come in. What's going on? Xerxes on the bench as well. These are his players that he has brought in. I'll be really interested to actually see the team news when it breaks today, because brilliant. I'll be really interested to see the actual team news when it breaks today and it will give you a bit of an indication as to where Eric Ten Hag wants to take this team. And the thing for me is, it is Brentford. Thomas Frank, a brilliant, you know, a great, great manager. Pep Guardiola wicks, wicks, waxes lyrical about this guy. And he's done a fantastic job at Brentford. And we know exactly what Brentford are going to bring today. That They will be on the front foot. They won't come to Old Trafford fearing United. Who fears United, man? We've scored five goals this season. There is nothing to be feared. We are not feared. So they'll fear of dreams, whatever. They're going to rock up and they will think they've got a great chance of being another team that comes to Old Trafford and gets a result. Brentford are playing well this season. They have an identity. They've got the style of play. Yeah, we've got a style of play. Is it good? It's bloody dog shit. It's pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. And there's so many players I'm worried about. And at the risk of uh, repeating myself, like I say, when Ten Hag's job was really, really on the line, 
he reverted back. And the players that he has spent an absolute fortune of money on were on the bench. And the, the, there's players, even like Xerxes, for instance. And I get worried. I, I, I will always give a player time uh, the same way I did with Anthony. And then sometimes it just gets to a point where you go, he's not good enough. Xerxes, yes, I will give him time. I'm not just singling him out, but this moment in time for me, Xerxes looks like a giraffe in a pair of roller skates with a Fellaini wig on, you know. And that's probably doing a disjustice to Marouan Fellaini. What an absolute legend he was. But I, I, am, I am worried. That's what I will say. I am worried for this game today. I don't go into it with any confidence. We are not scoring. We're certainly not playing any, any this so-called so ten hard ball. We're not playing free-flowing football. Are we, are we ever going to see that? And I can't believe I'm going to bring myself to say this as well. But, you know, if somebody offered me a 1-0 a one -nil result today against Brentford, I, I, I wouldn't take it. It sounds crazy. If it was City or Liverpool or some other knobheads like that, of course I would take it every day of the week. I'd say the performance doesn't matter. But I suppose it, what it comes down to now, we need to start seeing performances the performance level of the players we need to we need to start scoring goals that's pretty evident we need to stop letting them in it sounds very simple football is a simple game uh, complicated by idiots famous saying by Paul Scholes and it's never it is it's, it's absolutely bang on but we we're, we're in trouble at this minute of time minute in time and it, it's heartbreaking heartbreaking to see in terms of injury news, the massive, massive bombshell this week uh, was that Kobe Mainu well, obviously announced that he is injured and he's going to be missing. He could be missing for seven or eight games, which is absolutely huge in the grand scheme of things. And Mainu's obviously been a, a really good player for Man United. His breakthrough season last season, he's cemented his place in that midfield. But when we talk about reverting back to the old guard, I mean, it, it's pretty clear that we are probably... I don't know what, what's going on with Ugarte. Is he ready to play? Is he not? Is he trying to integrate him? We spent a hell of a lot of money on him and we're not really in a position to be arsing around. So we need to integrate him really as quickly as possible. So, I mean, the midfield today could quite be Ericsson and Casimiro, which at the start of their careers at Man United, when, when they played in that role, it worked. You know, we went on a run of games uh, where we were unbeaten. There's some stat that I can't really remember, but, you know, you can look out there, man. You'll see the stats and you'll, you'll see that they did all right. But they are not getting any younger. Casimiro, obviously, the legs have gone, all this, and we look at it. Can he still do a job? He's got a lot to prove, Casimiro, still. And uh, it's all right, his missus, you know, posting pictures of what he won in the past. Kev, don't give two shits what you won in the past, mate. It's all about the now. The here and now at Manchester United. And that's what we need to start seeing. Hoyland needs a goal. He just needs a goal for confidence. Would I start Rashford? No, I wouldn't. I'd go with Garnacho and Ahmad on the wings. Will he do that? Will he balls? It's Eric Ten Hag. He's becoming very predictable with his teams, his substitutions. He's not changing up the formation. Maybe he will surprise us today. But again, you know, the, the wolf is at the door. The wolf is howling. And it's looking for Ten Hag. The vultures are circling around Old Trafford. The press will have their laptops, their pens ready that if Brentford did do a job on us today, then the media will have an absolute field day and frenzy. It will be Eric Ten Hag out and all this, that. But uh, that's a debate for another time. Let's just see how today goes. But yeah, like I say, it's going to be reverting back to the old guard. It'd be interesting to see who he plays at the back. Uh, Masrawi, you know what I mean? Heart palpitations. Recovers from heart palpitations. Yet yeah, Luke Shaw... Still on the sidelines. Molassi is back in training, but he won't be ready. It's all the usual suspects. Honestly, man. But listen, supposed to lift your spirits here on match day. So uh, what I would like to say is before I end the video, uh, make sure you get into the comment section after it. Let me know what kind of a midfield you would play. Would you start Ahmad and Garnacho, as Kev said, with Hoyland up top, Bruno in behind? 
let me know. It's all about opinions. But for me, Johnny Evans, if Masraoui is going to play right back, you've got Dallo left back. That works. You stick with that. If it's not broke, don't fix it at this moment in time. And we're certainly not in a position to be mixing it up, especially when it comes down to that left back uh, situation, which is a situation. Why don't we buy somebody in the summer? I don't know. Why do we sell Fernandez? I could go on and on. I could bloody go on and on. Uh, but there, I've got it off my chest for the moment. Get into the comments, let me know. I always get in there, like to have a read, like to reply to the people that enjoy the United Stand. And of course, the Van Camp. So I would ask that you finger that like button because it helps, helps Kev out. The algorithm, something to do with that. But I'll let you go. <sighs> enjoy the game if you can. It's Man United against Brentford. We need three points. Don't ruin me weekend again. <laughs> Please don't. I'm for United today. Here we go. It's a camera!